Okay, so to begin this problem, what you want to do is multiply the numerator and denominator by the conjugate of 1 plus cosine x. So what we have here is 1 minus cosine x and 1 minus cosine x. This fraction over here is basically the same thing as 1, so all we're doing is manipulating the integral. And now we expand the brackets out, so we have 1 times 1 is 1, minus cosine x, plus sine x, minus by sine x, cosine x. And on the bottom we have 1 times 1 is 1, minus cosine x, plus cosine x, so we'll cancel out, and we have minus cosine squared x. And from our trig identity, we know that 1 minus cosine squared x is the same thing as sine squared x. And now our next step is to split the integral into four separate ones. So if we look at 1, we have 1 on sine squared x minus by the integral of cosine x on sine squared x plus the integral of sine x on sine squared x minus by the integral of sine x cosine x sine squared x Our next step is to simplify down the fractions into something we're more familiar with so we have the integral of 1 sine squared x and we know that 1 on sine x equals to cosecant so we have cosecant squared x minus by the integral of cosine x on sine squared x plus sine x on sine squared x is basically the same thing as 1 on sine x so that would be cosecant minus by cosine x on sine x which is cotangent So now we have four integrals which are quite complex. You can choose to solve them individually, however, I'm just going to consult a table of integrals with cosecants and cotangents because they're pretty well known, and also because it will take too much space to do them individually here. So the integral of cosecant squared x is negative cotangent, and the next integral I'll rewrite as negative integral of cosine x on sine squared x plus the integral of cosecant is negative ln of cosecant x plus cotangent x and the integral of cotangent is ln sine x and there's a plus c at the end to solve this integral over here, because I couldn't find it in the tables, you just let u equals to sine x, du equals to cosine x. So we have du, if you replace cosine x dx with du, on u squared. And if you integrate that, you would have negative 1 on u, which equals to negative 1 on sine x which is also the same thing as negative cosecant. So now I'm going to rewrite our solution more neatly. So we have negative cotangent x minus by negative cosecant, so plus cosecant x. And we have a negative ln of cosecant plus cotangent minus by ln of sine x plus c. <laughs> 